Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Strange matter, I did reach us this morning. Oh. They say, we say, uh, Akere Dolu's health has been reincarnated. They say, Nadi Yara do a scenario. Na Alem, so worry, now they make the revolution. He say, show, he say, uh, Governor Akere Dolu, no say no way before. Uh -huh. They, Germany, for three months. He's been in Germany for three months trying to get, you know, uh, treated and all that. And that was where they came up with the fact that uh, while he was away, the deputy governor wanted to take over, you know, take over the, take over the, uh, the, the state. And now that he's back, back, he wants to deal with the deputy governor. They've been trying to, you know, ensure that the deputy governor, you know, is, uh, is sent out and what have you. Anyway, my lovely people, this is what is going on now. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe as we get all the details on what is really happening. Health. Governor Akere Dolu's health has been reincarnated. Yaradua Sinero. Alem. Showere makes shocking revelation. A former presidential candidate, human rights activist, and media entertainer has been a thorn in the flesh of the successive Nigerian government. Alan Showere spoke on a wide range of issues in a recent interview, ranging from Rotimi Akiri Dolu and others. On August the 3rd, 2019, Yale was arrested by the Department of State Security Services after spearheading and mobilizing protests tagged Revolution Now. The 52-year-old was detained at the facility of the DSS in Abuja and was subsequently charged with treasonable felony, among other alleged offenses, before being released on December the 24th, December the 24th 2019. Showore was thereafter put under city arrest and was not allowed to leave the federal capital territory until a court of appeal in Abuja lifted the movement restriction within the country on the 13th of April 2022. Showore's family, Omoyeli Showore and Alem Showore, are brothers, they are from a family. He is, however, still restricted by the court from traveling out of the country as his passport has been seized. Speaking about his sibling in an exclusive interview, Alem touched on the impact the bond he shared with Yahi had put on him. Some th sometime you meet people who want to give you all the necessary assistance you desire, but at the same time there are places you go and people you meet on showare's brother oh, oh now showare brother bidato he is a troublemaker and all that and that's how i'm being seen and referred to but in all we have been lucky as a family he is a fantastic he has a fantastic personality will always promote our surname showare and the positive side is who our brother is and that is what he brings to us ask if yalek can pass as the best president never the best president never nigeria never had he said it is too early to describe my brother as the best president nigeria never had he has a lot of opportunity ahead of him i am very sure the day will come and he will be there in june 2020 alem was sacked by rotimi akere dolu the ondo state governor Although the governor was silent about why he expelled the deputy governor, the younger Showere confirmed to Lit Nigeria that his crime was recording, that his crime was recording and circulating the viral video showing the then governor, the then state commissioner of police, Bolaji, stopping the deputy governor at the time, Ajayi, from leaving the government house. It was all politics. I am from the same local government as the former deputy governor, Afred Ajayi. The relationship between then Ajayi and, and um, Akiri Dulu became, became, became rough and some, as, and some of us had to go because I sided with Ajayi, who is from my area, whom I believe stands for the best interest of the state rather than the betrayer who we know. We thank God the same scenario is happening again. 
and you can see the high-heartedness of the governor. The governor is the problem. Everybody cannot be wrong. He does not want anybody that would tell him the truth. He maltreats people. He belittles people. He wants to trample and walk over everybody. So I have no regret about that. However, particularly the reason I feel I was sacked at that time was the day I think around June 2020, the deputy governor Ajayi had planned to decamp from the people democracy the camp to the People Democratic Party and wanted to move out. He was restricted at the gate of the government house and I was called. I went there, I recorded the scene and put it on, or put it as evidence on social media. And I think when we got to know that I was the, when the governor got to know that I was the one that actually stood by and videoed the thing and have the evidence for the barbaric action and act he did on the deputy governor, he was not happy. I was happy that I was the one who stood for the deputy governor and he sent me away. Akere Dulu's health has been a major talking point in the last few months. Alim faulted the governor on how he have, the affairs of the state were being administrated and how it was being handled. The health of the Ondo state governor, Luru Timi Akere Dolo, has been recarnated. What I call the Yaradua's scenario, or what I normally describe as the Ali and Angel. Nobody sees him. Nobody knows his current health status. He has returned from Germany. He has not been to Ondo state and the cabals have taken over the government and all of that. They want to send this deputy governor away again. It is sad that in 2023, we still have this situation where people can hijack government because of the in the because of uh, someone is indisposed and they will not allow the deputy governor to take over it is rather unfortunate and i believe strongly that there is still chance there is still ch chance about his health and that the cabal and his immediate family are hiding from the states this is unfortunate because on those states we have about five million people who need to have access to good health but the governor himself only has access to the to the best of health. As we speak now, the major roads leads to Akure and the capital city. It's a poor state, and there is no government on or local government on ground to ensure that these things are fixed. So, my lovely, wonderful people, the now more relation with red brother. Now they talk about Oluru to me, Akure Dolo. Just they talk about you know who Oluru to me, who he sees Oluru to me as. You know, so leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Are these things correct that we do in this country? Are these things correct? We we allow people and we are just allow things to go on just like that. Leave us a comment. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.